step by step and side by side. How to record a song using GarageBand and Pro Tools. Lesson seven, recording the backing vocals. In this lesson, you will learn how to record and edit the backing vocals. There are two backing vocals in this piece and they both occur in the final chorus. They are named backing vocal 1 and backing vocal 2. First, select backing vocal 1 and place the cursor before the final chorus. Choose the other tracks you want to hear as you record. In my case, it's all of them. Press record and begin recording. Press stop when you are finished. There is no major editing required here, but it's a good idea to trim the beginning and end of the track to remove the empty space. Use the Trim tool to do this. Use the Zoom tool to see more detail. Don't trim too far or you will cut off the start of your vocal. To edit in more detail, Double click the track to open up the audio editor. Trim the track using the trim tool, then check that it plays OK. If I trust you, will you fail me? Now do the same with the start of the track. Next, let's record the second backing vocal. Select backing vocal 2. Place the cursor before the final chorus and press record. Breathe in, breathe out, hold me, fail me. When you have finished, press stop. Now let's look at the same process in Pro Tools. Record enable backing vocal 1 and choose the other tracks that you want to hear whilst you record. Press record, then play and begin recording. Press stop when you have finished. Now let's begin to edit that backing track. Use the zoomer tool to view the track in greater detail. Then select the trim tool and trim the empty spaces from the beginning of the track. Do the same at the end. Listen to check your editing. Trim a little more and listen again. In the same way as you recorded backing vocal 1, let's now record backing vocal 2. Record enable the track, press record, then play and begin recording. Breathe in, breathe out, hold me, fail me. 
press stop when you have finished and then begin editing in the same way as you did for backing track 1. Many of the software features have already been explored in previous lessons. Here is a basic reminder of the similarities and differences. Only Pro Tools has a Record Enable button, which must be pressed if you wish to record. Pro Tools has detailed editing tools with separate buttons, for example the Trim Tool and the Grabber Tool. To access these different tools in GarageBand, you must position the mouse in certain places on the track itself and wait for the cursor to change. To access the Trim Tool, position the mouse at the end or start of the track, towards the bottom half. The cursor will then change from a single arrow pointer to a double-sided arrow and a square bracket. That is the end of Lesson 7. In the next lesson, you will learn how to add effects to vocals.